How's it going, guys? My name's Shane. Welcome back to the Horror Basement. And in light of the holiday season, I'm going to be bringing you a Christmas-themed uh, horror movie today. Uh, today we're going to be talking about the aptly named A Christmas Horror Story from 2015. Uh, now, this movie is an anthology film. It follows uh, four main stories that all take place uh, on the same night, um, most of them being in the small fictional town of Bailey Downs. Uh, the first is about a group of intrepid teenage uh, reporters who are investigating a gruesome murder of some of their classmates that took place on the previous uh, Christmas. The second is about a family that trespasses on uh, some land to go get a Christmas tree, and um, in doing so, uh, runs into some trouble, which I won't... Um, there's a couple things in this that I'm not going to spoil, just to incentivize you more to watch the movie. Uh, the third is about a, um, a shitty rich uh, family who, through their various misdeeds, incurs the wrath, or the wrath of uh, Krampus, the uh, legendary goat man of uh, German folklore who punishes the, uh, the naughty. And the fourth, uh, since it's a Christmas movie, uh, the only one to not take place in Bailey Downs, uh, takes place up at the North Pole, where uh, Santa has to uh, fight off a horde of um, evil, uh, foul-mouthed uh, zombie elves uh, in order to try to save himself and Mrs. Claus when uh, some sort of magical zombie virus infects all of his um, workers. So the only part of the movie to not really take place within these four uh, main stories is the short interludes we get with the uh, local radio DJ of uh, Bailey Downs, uh, DJ Dangerous Dan, who is played uh, by the uh, legendary William Shatner. Um, now, you may think that uh, this is a cynical attempt by the movie to um, basically give some name recognition to what is, in all honesty, a low-budget um, holiday anthology film that had basically uh, no other uh, big like A, a or B-list name attached to it. But I'm going to allow this uh, just because other than the um, super gory fight scenes between Santa and the zombie elves, uh, the short uh, bursts we get with William Shatner just uh, trying, to, um, trying to maintain his sanity um, through all the bad news coming in uh, and trying to uh, maintain his, um, his radio persona as the town like falls apart around him and he gets progressively drunker as the movie goes on is one of my favorite aspects. Uh, so thumbs up to William Shatner for his performance. It was very, uh, very entertaining. Uh, the one issue I had with the film is that, uh, unlike a similar movie that I covered back for Halloween trick or treat, which is also an anthology movie that all takes place in the same town, um, the stories don't seem nearly as interconnected, um, and despite this, uh, we're continually cutting from one story to the other every, like, five to ten minutes. Uh, and this, I think, is an attempt to make it seem like the stories are more inter interconnected than they are, when in reality they're basically four standalone shorts uh, with the barest thread of connection. Um, I feel like if the, if we were allowed more time with each individual story, it would have helped with the pacing, because it feels like you're just starting to get, you know, into the flow of a story when you're, when you, it cuts and then you're off, you're back to the one from 20 minutes ago that you've base almost forgotten. Uh, that being said, um... All of the stories are pretty, I enjoyed all of them, they're pretty enjoyable, and the bits with Krampus, who appears a few times throughout the film, were really impressive. It looks like, for the most part, it was done with practical effects, and kudos to the guy who played Krampus. 
Uh, in this movie, Krampus is just a um, a fucking swole, yoked, uh, white, like, goat man ice demon. And like I said, the effects were mostly practical, so the dude that was playing him is also just fucking, you know, yoked out of his mind. So kudos to him. But yeah, overall, I really enjoyed this movie. It's um, a little cheesy, a little on the low-budget side. But it was a really fun, enjoyable watch, and there is actually a really good twist ending that I'm not going to spoil for you guys. Uh, one of the, one of the four stories has a gigantic twist at the end. So definitely give this movie a watch. Um, if you have any other recommendations for um, holiday horror films, leave them down in the comments. Uh, hit that subscribe button, because there will actually be one more video coming out that is in the Christmas theme. That should be in the next uh, two or three days. Um, so Merry Christmas. Like, comment, and subscribe, like I said. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.